we want to find the Bunzoff power index for the voting system shown here. And so to do this, we're going to need to list each of the, uh, winning coalitions and identify in each of those coalitions which players are critical. So let's start by listing coalitions and see if they are winning coalitions. So we'll start with two player coalitions because notice no player is a dictator here. So player one and player two together, uh, would have a combined power of nine and so this is a winning coalition. Now in this coalition, well, let's just start with winning coalitions. Player one and player three. Player one and player three have a combined weight of six plus two is eight, so it is also a winning coalition. How about player two and player three? Player two and player three have a combined weight of five, and so that is not a winning coalition, and so we're not going to consider that one. We're only interested in winning coalitions here. So these are all the two-person coalitions, and there's one more coalition, and that's what's called the Grand Coalition, the coalition that includes everybody. And so that is also going to be a winning coalition here. So now, for each of these, we're going to count which player is critical. In the two-party, two-person coalition here, if either were to leave, it would no longer be a winning coalition. So both players are going to be critical there, and both players are going to be critical there. I'm underlying, in, in this case, to indicate the critical players. Now, how about, uh, this coalition? Well, let's see here. If player one were to leave, player two and player three cannot reach quota by themselves, so player one is critical. Now, if player two were to leave, then player one and player three can reach quota by themselves, so player two is not critical. Likewise, if player three were to leave, player one and player two can reach quota by themselves, so only player one is critical in the Grand Coalition. Notice that player one is critical in every coalition, which means that player one has a veto power, right? Because player one is critical in every coalition. So let's now total up how many times each player is critical. So player one is critical three times, player two is critical once, player three is critical once. Notice that since every player is critical at least once, there is no dummy, there are no dummies in this, in this, uh, voting system. So now, we're gonna convert these values into percents. To do that, we're gonna add these up, three plus one plus one is five, and then we'll convert these into relative counts. Now, we can either write this as three out of the five, so this is saying player one is critical three out of the total five times that anybody is critical, so we can either list it as a fraction, or we can convert it into a percent if we wanted to. So player two is critical one-fifth, that's twenty percent, player three, one-fifth, that's also twenty percent. And so this is the Bonzoff power index, or power, uh, values for each player in this weighted voting system. So we can conclude from this that player one has three times as much power as either player two or player three, and that player two and player three, even though they have the same, different numbers of votes, they have the same overall power in the voting system.